Okay, math, 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 let's do some math today. Okay, this is um, part two. You'd only be doing this, you'd only be watching this video if you are doing exercise 10C um, in the textbook and you're doing AS maths um, and you're in Great Britain. Okay, if you're not, then there's no point doing this. You might as well be doing uh, something else. Okay, um, to make this uh, part two, to make it a bit more exciting, um, what I've done is I've used different colours. I've used purple for, for this and I'm going to use for the questions and I'm going to use this nice pink colour uh, for the answers. Okay, my class are always going to me, Mr. McCoy, do different colours. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so, um, so just this is part B, so I did questions one to three and now I'm doing questions four onwards. Um, the first one here, I'm going to go through these very quickly. Uh, question four is very easy, express in terms of sine theta only, cos squared theta, cos squared theta is one minus sine squared, there we go, done. Tan squared, tan theta is sine over cos. So tan squared is sine squared theta over cos squared theta, isn't it? Okay, and we can't have cos squared, so cos squared is one minus sine squared. So we can write that as sine squared theta over one minus sine squared theta. There we go, just in terms of sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, so cos times tan is cos times sine over cos, and they cancel each other out only just to give you sine theta, so all of that is just sine theta. A bit of KFC here, um, cos divided by tan, could write it like that, couldn't you? Okay, and you could write that, tan is sine theta over cos theta. You could write that like that. And KFC, KFC, keep, first one. Flip, that's how we divide. So cos theta over sine theta, and change, divide to times. So that gives us cos squared theta over sine theta, and of course, Cos squared, we were going to write as 1 minus sine squared, straight from our identity over sine theta. So almost the same as this one, isn't it? Okay, and um, and then this one here, I just multiply it out. Cos squared theta plus cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta, but I'll write it the other way around because it doesn't matter. And minus sine squared theta, Crab's claw. Um, and we've got this cos minus that, okay, just cancels out. We're left with cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Oh, nice one day now. Okay, and um, cos is one minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So be careful. It's equivalent to one minus two sine squared theta. Easy, went through that very quick, but it's quite easy, isn't it? Okay, all right, um, question five. I'll go through those now with you. Question five, a little bit harder. It's got a P next to it. A P uh, for problem, I think. P for problem, yeah. And it says using the identities, these here, prove that. So this is a little bit different now because now we've got this equivalent sign in there, this identity sign. So sine theta, first one is cos theta all squared is equivalent to one plus two sine theta cos theta, for instance. So prove this. Now when we do proving identities, normally we start mathematicians, proper mathematicians like myself, Mm, to a certain degree, Mr. Darren and Mr. Ron, we, uh, we move from this side to that side. So we just stick with this. We try and change that so it looks like that. We use this as a clue. And um, that's what we normally do. Sometimes we have to, some of these, we're gonna have to change this and we can't get quite get to that. So we can change that a little bit and meet somewhere in the middle. Sometimes we ha it's better to do that or you have to do that. Um, but usually I start with this and try and move left to right. Okay, this one you can see what to do, you just write it out, square it out, and you end up with sine squared theta um, plus uh, two sine theta cos theta 
plus cos squared theta. When you expand that out, then you can see your sine squared plus your cos squared is one. So it gives you this. So that one's straightforward. Um, B though, so that was A. B is a little tip for you now. So B is one over cos theta minus, I should have put the camera on the other side actually, shouldn't I? Um, I hope my, my hand isn't in the way when I'm doing these. Is equivalent to sine theta, tan theta. I've got, you can't see, it's just off the thing. I've got my book here, just off, um, uh, off, the, off the camera. So this one here, a little, right, it's my first little tip for you. Whenever you, this is just one thing, isn't it? But here, there's two different parts of this, and one of these is a fraction. So try to get, whenever you get this, try to get it as one complete fraction, you know, a single fraction, okay? And so I'm going to put this cos theta over one, and it's a nice little tip, got me out of many a scrape in my life, just combined to make one single fraction, okay? And how do we do that? Times top and bottom by cos theta, because we're trying to get a common denominator. And then we've got a common denominator when we do that, because we've got now cos squared theta over cos theta, haven't we? That's the same fraction as cos theta over one, or just cos theta. But because we've got um, a now a common denominator, we can write that as one minus cos squared theta over that. Um, denominator, can't we? And 1 minus cos squared, of course, is sine squared theta, isn't it? Over cos theta. Okay, that's there, in there. And this, okay, I'm going to make it really obvious now. I'm going to go sine theta times sine theta. That's what sine squared theta is, sine theta times sine theta over cos theta. And there you can see is your sine over cos makes a tan, so all of that can be combined to tan, so you've got your sine theta, tan theta. Okay, hope that was fairly straightforward. This little tip, great little tip that, combined to make a fraction. Okay, that is the same with C, okay, so part C, change that to part C, you've got tan x and plus one over tan x. And you're trying to get to, um, what's it saying, 1 over sine x cos x. Well, first of all, uh, we can just do tan x and, and, and change that into a single fraction. But actually, look where we're trying to get. This is a clue, isn't it? We're trying to get to sine x and cos x. And we can get rid of these tan x's straight away because we can write them in terms of sine x cos x. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write that tan x as sine oops, not theta, ta, sine x, cos x, okay? And this here is, as a little aside, one over tan x is one divided by sine x over cos x, invert and multiply becomes one times cos x over sine x. So that is cos x over sine x. There we go. Okay, so I did one divided by that. So if I wrote it out again, invert and multiply. Okay, just flip it upside down. All right, so that's what I've got to from this. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to combine them, that little uh, tip that I've just given you, combine them into a single fraction. My common denominator, you know, this was thirds and quarters. You times them together to get common denominator of 12 don't you 3 times 4 is 12 so it's just these two times together so we're going to times top and bottom by cos on this side to keep the same fraction and times top and bottom by sine on this side to keep the same fraction and you can probably see this where this is going you get a sine squared x over sine x cos x plus a cos squared x over sine x cos x and when we combine those, sine squared plus cos squared is 1, and the common denominator is sine of cos x, which was where we were trying to get. Okay? Oh, that sunshine is lovely. Okay? Um, so there we go. Might, I'd like to have a little trip out to a garden centre, but I can't. Social isolation and 
everywhere's closed. So, um, D is easy. I don't need to go through D with you, but I will say something about D. I can see cos squared A minus sine squared A is equivalent to one minus two sine squared A. Well, of course it is. Um, the cos squared A, you just turn into one minus sine squared A and you get that. That's it. Um, they're just using, again, the, you know, they're the playing the old Jedi mind tricks on you here. Um, don't be confused with them swapping at theta for a and uh, you know an x and so on. So they're just doing this. So that one's straightforward. Um, e looks okay. Um, just multiplying out that big bracket. You don't need me to do that one. Just multiply it out, and you've got sine squared plus cos squared. Okay, um, and they all equal one. And that'll give you a five in the end, so that's okay. Oh, G looks. I will do. Um, I will do those other ones. If if you message me, um, I'll show my own work, and you can't do those. I'll do those ones as well. But G looks more interesting. In fact, as I'm writing it out now, it's looking less interesting. Sine squared y, and you've got to prove that is sine squared x minus sine squared y. Um, that looks like the difference of two squares there, actually, um, but that might not work. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, tip, look at this, where we're trying to get to, there's no causes in there. So let's change that to one minus sine squared y, okay? So we've got sine squared x, how's that? Cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x times sine squared y. Have I done that right? Have I written that question out right? I don't think I am. Oh yes, I am. Okay, so all I've done is I've swapped that for that and that for that. And it looks now it looks like this, doesn't it? And we just have to be careful because we've got minus minuses here. Okay, if we multiply this out, you get sine squared x, and that times that is minus sine squared x sine squared y. Got to be really careful here. Um, I'm just going to put a square bracket. I put that minus is that one there, and then I'm going to do this carefully. Sine squared y minus sine squared x sine squared y oops there's my square bracket now i've got this i'm going to do it all again sine squared x sine squared y minus all of the minus all of this this is where some of you fall into a trap so minus the sine squared y and minus the minus is the plus sine squared x, sine squared y. And you can see here, okay, that cancels out and you're left with sine squared x minus sine squared y, which is that there. So that one's okay. Um, question six, yeah, do them my, question six, do them the way with the little triangle that I showed you. I, I won't do all of those because they're all the same. So 6a, um, find without using your calculator the values of um, sine theta and cos theta when it gives you that tells you that tan theta is equal to five twelfths and theta is acute. Okay, so that's question 6a. You've got to find these. Okay, so again, my method, remember, um, is a nice little method here. Just draw the triangle. Um, there's your angle. I think and you know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And there's your opposite, and there's your adjacent. So opposite is 5, adjacent is 12. Pythagoras means that's 13. 5 squared plus 12 squared is 25 plus 144. 169 squared is 13. Um, and now you can just see that sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, 5 thirteenths, and cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, 
much is that? And that's what it's asking for. Um, you've got to be careful, you've got to use this information as well. Okay, um, there's theta, and it does tell, whoops, there's theta, it's there, and it's an acute angle, and it's in that region where they're all C, A, S, T. They're all positive there. So if it's an acute angle, that's positive. Cos is positive and a sine is positive. So no changes there. Okay. Um, if um, I'll just do one more of those, but so I'll just want one that looks a little bit more awkward. If you go in down six A, B, and C, it will look the same. Okay. I'm going to go to question eight. It's the same. The, that block is the same from six to nine. Is the same. So question eight, which is another one. They're all the same. It says that tan this time, tan theta is equal to minus root three. So there's a minus creeping into that, and theta is reflex. And it wants us to find the exact values of sine theta and cos theta. Okay, so sine theta and cos theta. So again, whoops, draw a triangle, theta. Okay, look at this here. Um, tan theta is, now I'm going to go root 3, I'm going to ignore this minus for a second, same angle remember, um, so root 3 over 1, that's what root 3 is, root 3 divided by 1 is root 3, so opposite over adjacent, root 3 over 1, okay, um, and that means that when we use Pythagoras, that squared is 3, 1 squared is 1, 3 over 1 is 4, square rooted is 2. Okay, um, so now we can go, uh, we can talk about the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to root three over two and cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so a half. But we do have to be careful on this one because this comes into play, doesn't it? Okay, and if we look at our cast wheel now, C A S T. Okay, our cast wheel says that theta is reflex. Okay, so 0, 90, 180, 270, and back to 360, go around that way. If it's reflex, it's in this region here. It's from here to here. It's between 180 and 360 degrees. Now, if it was in this region here, between 180 and 270 it would be positive and it isn't it's negative so they're telling you that theta is in this region here this angle here theta okay and it's between 270 and 360 and our cast wheel we always do it turning from the x-axis okay so that angle of course is the same as turning from the x-axis into all of these quadrants we've done that on my other videos so it's the same as this angle here, isn't it? Okay, that's what it is. And that angle gives you uh, three, root three over two and, and, and a half. It's actually um, uh, 60 degrees, okay? Um, but it's in this region here, and cos is positive in this region, so that's okay, okay? Tan is negative, that's why they gave you that. Um, but sine is negative in this region, isn't it, in either of these. So that, we just have to adjust this one here. It's actually the angle of 300 degrees, okay? It's 60 degrees, okay? And 60 degrees back is, is 300 degrees. Okay, that's what it is. Um, but think of it as the acute angle 60 degrees. You don't need to know that, um, but you just need to know what quadrant it's in, okay? Um, and that's eight, um, eight, nine are the same. And finally question, there's some that you, they look like sine rule and cosine rule, um, 11 and 12. Um, but if I do question 10, I'll just do the first one. It's got x equals sine theta and y equals cos theta. What's that asking? In the following, eliminate theta to give an equation relating x and y. So we want an equation. So it's got an equal sign in it and it's got an x in it and it's got a y in it. So something with x and y and an equal sign. No, no thetas. Okay. Um, so... A few things you can do. You could do my little triangle here for this one. Uh, you could do a little triangle and you could go theta and so is opposite over 
hypotenuse x over 1 and y over 1. Okay, and for uh, cos of theta is adjacent to around hypotenuse y over 1, that's what I did. That squared plus that squared equals 1, x squared plus y squared equals 1. Okay, um, so that gives you the answer, but they are, they're just intended, square both sides here, x squared equals sine squared theta, y squared equals cos squared theta. And the reason that we do that is because there isn't really a way of linking sine theta and cos theta, but there is a way of, if you, there is a link between sine squared and cos squared theta. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one. So that plus that is one, so that plus that is one, so x squared plus y squared is equal to one. Um, if you um, look at, you know, just, if you do them all like that, that's a, B is, what's B? X equals sine theta, Y equals two cos theta. Yeah, this one here, divide by two first, so you've got Y over two is equal to cos theta, okay? Um, so just divide both sides by two. Then when you square these, you get X squared equals sine squared theta, and here you get, square all of that, you get Y squared over four, is equal to cos squared theta. That plus that is equal to one. So x squared plus y squared over four is equal to one. Or in the back, if it's times everything by four, four x squared plus y squared is equal to four. And that might be the answer for that one. I don't know, they're both the same thing. So that's those ones, that's question 10. Um, yeah, you can do all of those uh, now. There is one with tan in there. Um, should I do the one for tan with you in there? It's almost the same. Uh, 10. Um, 10 D, I'll, ha I'll hurry up and make this my last one because my wife wants to make some soup. X equals sine theta and Y equals tan theta. Um, okay, I'm just having to sort of think about this one. Um, okay, can you do that with my little triangle? You can't really do that with my little triangle. Opposite the hypotenuse. Hmm. Okay, I suppose you can. Yeah. Um, if we go on this one, x squared equals sine squared theta, y squared equals tan squared theta. Um, if we did that, we can go y squared equals sine squared theta over cos squared theta, couldn't we? We could do that. Um, yeah, I mean, this one, it's not so tidy, this one. Um, you can see that sine squared, we can write that as x squared. If we've got this here, we know that x squared is equal to one minus cos squared x as well, isn't it? Because sine squared is one minus cos squared. So, um, cos squared um, is equal to 1 minus x squared, isn't it? Okay, taking that over, taking that over there. Um, so it's not as nice really, this one. So y squared is equal to sine squared, which we know is x squared, and cos squared is 1 minus x squared. Okay, so that's that one done. That's in terms of x and y with, um, with no thetas in there. Okay, so those those look okay. Um, I'm going to call it over and out now and make some soup. Um, and um, yeah, me sourdough culture is starting to rise, so I can make a, a sourdough loaf as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed um, the support with that exercise. So, like I say, um, only watch this and go through it if you are uh, if you're doing the exercise. Um, if not, you know, Tracy Beaker returns is a good option. Okay, instead. Um, and uh, 
or pulling wheelies on, on, on your BMX. Um, 11 and 12, they just look like sign rule and cosign rule. Okay, any problems with those, um, just give me, um, just, just message me. Okay, um, if you want to make any donations to my, I've got lots of subscribers now, um, I'm a bit of an internet sensation, 23 I think subscribers, how famous I am. Um, and you want to donate to my website, just leave um, either sort of, you know, tins of beans, um, pasta or toilet roll. Um, or those wet wipes are nice, the, the moist wet wipes for your bottom on my doorstep. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, over and out.